everyone cody from mac telecom networks in this video we're going to be looking at unify talk voicemail settings one of the really cool settings with unify talk if somebody leaves a voicemail it could push to your email and also transcribe it we could also listen to the voicemail directly from the call log if you're new here please subscribe and hit the bell icon if you'd like to hire me for network consulting visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com you can find us on instagram at mac telecom networks and if you'd like to support the channel we do have affiliate links down below. So first, let's take a look at a new Unify Talk application update 1.15.1. And this was just released a couple days ago. We have a few new things with this update. So we have audio data export. So from settings, system settings, you can now download audio files from the smart attendant greetings. We could also download the custom hold music, voicemail and voicemail group greetings and call recordings, which is great. They added smart attendant extension dialing customization and also enhanced voicemail recipient flexibility. You can now designate users without assigning devices as voicemail recipients in groups and smart attendants. When combined with voicemail email notifications, this feature allows you to more flexibly receive voicemails. For example, you could designate a user with a shared email inbox as a group voicemail recipient. No phone required, so multiple users can check incoming voicemail messages. And I think that's pretty cool. Now going back to the Unified Talk application, let's set our voicemail greeting for our user. So if we click under our users and groups, we could see that I have a few different users here. The one we'll be using for this video will be the Mac Telecom test. So we could press edit on the Mac Telecom test and under manage, we could see voicemail. If we click the drop down on voicemail, we could select a greeting. So we could either record one or we could upload one. I'm gonna record one. It says, click the microphone icon to record your message. So that's what we're gonna do. You've reached Cody's voicemail. I'm away from the phone right now. Please leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And now we could listen to that voicemail before saving it. So let's take a listen. You've reached Cody's voicemail. I'm away from the phone right now. Please leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And I think that sounds pretty good. So we're gonna save the recording. We could also change that recording at any time if we'd like. Now to enable the voicemail to email and as well as the transcriptions, we need to go into our settings. So if we click on the left settings wheel and we're under call settings, we go to the voicemail and hit the drop down menu. The settings that we see here are the default. So we just have voicemail, which allows callers to leave voicemail messages. We could also see voicemail email notifications, which we're going to want turned on. So we could see that deliver email notifications for voicemail messages within two minutes of their receipt. Notifications will be sent to the email saved to the user's profile and talk. We also have the voicemail recording and transcription in email notification. So attach the voicemail recording and transcription to the email notification. And we'll toggle that on as well. We could also have the email notification for unread voicemails only if we'd like. And then we could do different voicemail instructions. We also have our voicemail timeout, which by default is six rings and 30 seconds. I'm going to put that at four rings and 20 seconds. Now I'm going to call my Unify Talk number from another phone that I have. So we'll dial in the number. And now we could see that I'm calling the Unify Talk phone and we'll just wait till it goes to the voicemail. I'm going to leave a voicemail on it and you'll be able to see that voicemail transcription as well as the email notification. The voicemail to email came in about after one minute. So let's check my email. We could see here that there's a notification Unify Talk. You have a new voicemail. Let's click on it. And below we could see the transcription where I just said YouTube test one, two, three a few times and that spelled out perfectly what I said. We could see the number that the caller was calling from. We could see where it's going to and then the length. And we could also see the date and time, which I think is pretty wicked. Now, if we scroll down on the email, we could see that we have an attachment, which is our voicemail in an MP3. Let's take a listen. YouTube test, one, two, three. This is a YouTube test, one, two, three. YouTube test, one, two, three. And that's really great. I find that's very easy to use. And you could listen to your voicemails wherever you are. You don't need to be in the office. Now let's go back to Unify Talk and we'll be able to see that same voicemail in our call log. So looking at the call log, we could see where it's coming from. We could see where it's going to, the date and time, the duration, and then we could see recording. So we could open the voicemail and we could listen to it right from this dashboard. Another cool feature about these phones, we could see our voicemail and we could see who was calling in. If we click on that, we could transcribe it right on the screen. Now you could see a bunch of different things. We could see the voicemail, we could see who called in, we could play the voicemail, 
and then we could do voicemail transcription. We'd also do callback or delete voicemail. Let's click on the voicemail transcription. So it's saying loading and this may take a minute. Now we can see the transcription came through and what was said. So if we don't wanna to listen to it and just read it, we could do it directly from the phone. So that's gonna be it for the Unify Talk video about the voicemail. I'm really starting to like where Unify Talk is going. It's very simplistic and easy to use, but it has great functionality. I really like the voicemail to email and the transcription. If you have any questions about this video, please leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.